cleaned up once. So I'll comb by gathering it into my left hand. And I'll hold it here for a moment so that it settles down. And then just follow this up a little bit. You don't have to make a huge tall comb. Just enough that this starts to settle down here. And then compress it down. And now you can see how my bat is starting to give me a little bit of trouble. Mm -hmm. If you're not on a bat, don't worry about it. Obviously, you, don't, you won't have the same issue. But if you are, get your body weight directly over it and compress it down this way. So you're not putting any lateral pressure that makes it whip around. And then just flatten this down. And as you're flattening this down, it centers at the same time. Hmm. And a little bit more. So I'm pushing it with my side of my left hand and compressing just enough with the index finger that this doesn't flop over. So I'm making a little bit of a effort to keep it contained in. And then all the way. And again, it's about an inch thick or so, maybe a little less for the smaller plate. And then put your thumb in to find the middle and go halfway down so that you're leave enough for the for the floor and don't get too much clay that you'll have to lift up as a rim. And then keep that left thumb compressing that little ridge down as you're bringing this out. The, you're pressing with the... Right, so this part of the thumb is compressing this mm -hmm. ridge down so that it's not separating as a piece of clay as I move this out. And careful not to push. I went just a little bit down here, which I caught myself just in time that I can fix it. So because the wheel spins faster toward the edge of here, it'll go deeper if you're not careful. So I can still fix that by compressing this out and evening things out this way, but Oftentimes you wind up with a little mountain in the middle if you're not careful. Compress it well. And now if you felt that you were a little bit off center from the opening it, pinch. So I'm gonna pick up the rim with my left hand, with the thumb on the outside, running along the, the base here, and my fingers on the inside, and I'll pinch it from the inside into my thumb, and on the top I compress it down with my right hand so that it's kind of from three different directions. Now and why, why are you doing that? Centering it. Just, okay. And if it still feels like it's not quite responding to you, turn it in a little and turn it back up. And that usually takes care of it. And now I'll lift up once to get some of this clay up. So I'll push out into my outside hand to collect it, and then just lift it up a little. So up straight first, and compress the rim. 
and at this point you can start already using your rib. That Number could be one. like pie dish or like pie. Yeah, well, this could be a pie dish. This yeah. could certainly, you could be totally done with this almost and oh, okay. make it taller and you could make it like a casserole dish. Oh, okay. Make it, open it out a bit and you have a pie dish. And all kinds of things come out of this form for sure. So I am compressing with the rubber, yellow rib, and I'm pushing the rib out so that it makes that little line there, that little definition. Yeah. That is the well. So now I don't have to go back and touch that anymore. It's all done underneath there. And everything else from here happens from this line. So I'll start by lifting out from that line. First just gently compress the rim. back in if you feel like it disappeared a little bit so that you see it every time and a little more starting again off this line and now I'm pushing it down into my outside hand and lifting at the same time so that it's widening and opening into a plate. So lovely. And then again, go back, put that line back in. And if you are worried that you have extra clay down here, that will prevent you from pushing this down all the way to the right, to the correct angle, not the right angle. Go back and undercut it now. Get rid of that clay so that you have a, a nice access to underneath here. I knew there was a piece there somewhere. Yeah, there is. There it goes. And if you're worried about things getting soggy and, and a little unsteady, use the rib on the underside. And compress down to it. And as you remember from last week, you want to be careful not to push too far down, but you want to be thinking that you're still lifting and opening it, throwing it into this shape so that it doesn't flip up too far as you as it dries. Compress the rim. And then you can support from the underneath with your fingers and just compress the inside. One last time, put the rib right next to where the rim begins to define that. Now it's up to you how deep or shallow this is. To me, this is just about as deep as I would want a dinner plate. Like anything deeper than this and you have a hard time getting to your food in a way, like if it's really deep, it's more like a bowl, it's more like a mm -hmm. something that you'd use a spoon to eat out of. Um, the width of the rim is a factor also. If it's really wide, you have not that much space here. So it's a kind of a, that is one thing that I have yet to figure out in a, in a consistent way. So what is the good ratio between here and here, like 
what's a nice pleasant rim 